is Tuesday, January 9th, and it's currently about 11.30 right now. <sighs> Tuesday, I'm feeling a bit back to normal. Yesterday was a mess, but I was able to get up. Roads were okay, so I went and had my workout, got leg day, and it felt great. Now that I've increased my calories for the past couple of days, I can already feel the difference in the gym, so that has been awesome. Unfortunately, I didn't get all the things done that I wanted to do yesterday for work and for the house, so I'm going to be pretty busy today getting caught up with work, feeling good about that, and then after work, I mean, I have a sink full of dishes, I have to finish up laundry, and tomorrow I have to clean the bathroom. So I definitely don't want to fall farther behind. So I will be a busy little bee today. I'll film as much as I can. But I'm excited. Getting day by day closer to this three day weekend. And boyfriend and I's four year anniversary. I'm getting pretty hyped about it. He's such a good guy. I know I don't really show him at all. But maybe I will show him some more in the future. He doesn't mind. Though he pokes fun at me sometimes for filming. But... I'm gonna go ahead and eat my lunch. I'm having a leftover pot roast and my fave Kirkland brand protein bar. Get that Costco hype. And then big thing of flavored water. Gotta get in those liquids. My digestion's already like a little bit wonky from increasing my calories. You know, it's getting used to it. I'm already pooping more. TMI. But I'm pooping more. I'm hyped about that too. Gotta love better workouts with more energy. Gotta love pooping more consistently. Overall, I'm a huge fan of getting on this maintenance bus. Like, maintenance calories are going great. And I'm not even all the way there yet. I still get to increase my calories some more. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. If you've ever dieted, then you know that I'm not like overreacting. Every little bit, every like 50 calories you can add into your diet, you feel like a huge difference in the way your body responds and just the amount of food you get. You don't really realize until you've dieted down so far like I had. It's not fun and there are even people who have to diet more extremely, so I'm glad. I didn't have to do that. So I will check in with you guys later. I'm gonna do some work. Finished my day of work. Well, mostly there was a thing or two that I could get done a bit later, but I'm done teaching for the day. So now I'm just getting some chores done, finishing up laundry that I started yesterday. And now I'm gonna go and tackle those dishes that you saw in the sink earlier. I'm feeling like super freaking motivated today, which I'm not gonna complain. I'm just gonna go with it and use up the motivation while I still have it. All right, let's do some dishes. boyfriend is having for dinner look at this look at how amazing my mouth is watering the confusion the struggle is real but here's the thing I'm making myself my own dinner it's still gonna be tasty and of course who wouldn't want to have pizza but 
I always have two things to say about pizza. One, I'm lactose intolerant, so I'm gonna suffer if I eat it, <laughs> even if it's delicious. Two, I can never feel satisfied eating pizza unless I have like four or five slices, which with what I've eaten so far today are just not gonna fit into my calories and that's that. I just have to be realistic and I'm someone who would rather fit in the full portion that I want than to just eat like one slice and be left wanting more. So I'm going to enjoy my calorie friendly dinner that won't make my tummy upset because of the dairy. <laughs> but I mean, I think any girls out there that, have, that live with their boyfriend, you know the struggle. Boys, especially tall big boys, get to eat so much. I'm sure his maintenance is like 2,000 calories more than mine, which sometimes he doesn't even realize and he's like, oh, why are you always eating diet food or salads when I'm feeling like a pig eating this food? And I'm just thinking, if I ate how much of that I wanted to eat, or even half of as much as I wanted to eat, I would be hungry later because it didn't fill me up because it's super calorically dense. If I did that, if I didn't do that and I actually ate what I wanted and felt full, I would gain weight. There's no winning unless I make food that tastes delicious, which I believe my food that I make does, and actually fills me up and meets my calorie goals. So you guys know I'm no longer dieting, but I'm slowly increasing my calories. I'm not doing it all at once. I'm boosting it up slowly so then everything can adjust and I don't have to see a jump up in the scale or have some digestive issues because my digestive system is so sensitive. So jumping up high in calories, you know, one day to the next wouldn't be so good for me. So I'm slowly bumping them up, but the struggle's still real. Give me a like if you uh, feel the struggle. Talk to you guys later. Last night, Jesse went to bed early, which honestly made me really jealous because I'm so, I was so tired. I wanted to go to bed early too. So I worked hard to edit the vlog and get it uploaded, make the thumbnail and everything to get that all set, finished up my chores for today, got everything in super quick so then I could go to bed like less than an hour and a half early but still. But because I had that like one focus mind of getting those things done and like jumping right into bed, I forgot to end the vlog. So this is the end of Tuesday's vlog. Reminder, I upload every single day at noon. See you guys tomorrow. This is crazy. Bye.